In these 10 days, it's very befitting of us to study the life of a man, a great man, a prophet, and not just a prophet, but one of the five ulil azm, but one of the five that have great willpower and strive for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This man, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, is amazing. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa salatu salamu ala Sayyidina Musaleen, Sayyidina Muhammad. The first I've already alluded to is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes him as being one of ulil azm, one of five prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes as being those with very strong will and who went through so much. The second is that Ibrahim was uh, Ibrahim الذي وفى This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes him. Ibrahim, he who fulfilled, he who was loyal. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not specify what it is that he fulfilled, which means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has left it general. Meaning that everything that was asked of Ibrahim, Allah, uh, Ibrahim was able to fulfill everything to the, to the highest of levels. This is the loyalty that Ibrahim showed to his Lord. Allah also uh, describes in the Quran and he says, who is it that strays and deviates from the way of Ibrahim, the path that Ibrahim followed, except he who mocks himself, he who uh, doesn't quite, you know, there's something missing, there's a cog missing inside of his mind. Look at this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala underpins the faith by saying that it is the way, the path of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Look at the magnitude and scale of this Prophet in the eyes and the scale of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also describes him as being Imam al nas Ibrahim made a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he said, Oh Allah, make me an Imam for all of the people, a leader for all of the people. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted and he did so. And then Ibrahim alayhi salam asked that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make from his offspring leaders. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted and said that from the pious offspring we will create leaders. And subhanAllah, the, the, the prophethood came from the lineage, from the same, this very same lineage, came from the offspring of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Look at this, that the rewards of all of the people that came after Ibrahim are attributed to Ibrahim alayhi salam because of this dua. Look at the magnitude and the scale of Ibrahim subhanAllah. Ibrahim alayhi salam also makes a dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends to the illiterate a prophet. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts and he sends to the illiterate, described as the Arabs, a prophet. And this prophet, his name is Muhammad So look at this and look how amazing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts his dua. And all these people that become Muslims through the message of Muhammad the message of Islam as we know it now, all of these people are attributed back to this dua of Ibrahim salam. From this, also Ibrahim salam was the first to call us Muslims. He was the one that called you Muslimin, the submitters. This is the name that Sayyidina Ibrahim gave us. We didn't give this to ourselves. Sayyidina Muhammad did not give it to us. Ibrahim was the very, very first person to call those that believe the submitters. Prophet Ibrahim, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him to submit, the second Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finished asking him, Ibrahim submitted. Ibrahim submitted. Ibrahim alayhi salam submitted. No hesitation, no thinking, no batting an eyelid. He just submitted instantly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes Sayyidina Ibrahim. He says, Inna Ibrahim halimun awahun munib. Ibrahim is forbearing. He is also uh, uh, kind-hearted or gentle-hearted. And he is oft returning. Three characteristics in one ayah about Sayyidina Ibrahim. The mercy with which Sayyidina Ibrahim operated, even though he had been through so much, even though his people had taken him through so much, the mercy in his heart was amazing. SubhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes him how he met, meets his Lord with a heart that is pure, that is free of impurities. Bin Salim, that he meets him with a heart that is, that is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. No, no diseases, no illnesses, no lacks. There's nothing wrong with it. And finally, the characteristic that really uh, maybe supersedes all of these characteristics, Allahu A'lam, but in my opinion, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken Ibrahim to be his Khalil. 
Now, when you say to someone, I like you, well, uh, there are people you like, but then there are people you love. And there are people you love, but then there are people you adore. But Khalil is the highest level of love. It's the highest level of love. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took Ibrahim to be his Khalil. So, uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I love you, no, he's saying to Ibrahim that he is his Khalil. It's so much higher than this. Ultimately, our aim and our goal in dunya is to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to get to know Him and to get to love Him and to fall in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But look, I'm saying get to fall in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim alayhi salam became a Khalil. Ibrahim alayhi salam gave up everything for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in these 10 days, as we learn to emulate Sayyidina Ibrahim, we will learn so much about what he sacrificed for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so much about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him in return. Much more than anything he sacrificed instantly and forever. Please feel free to spread this video as much as you can if you've benefited from it. If you think it's worth spreading, then please do. Anyone that listens to it and acts from anything that they, and benefits or acts from anything that they've heard, then inshallah, you will be rewarded as well, inshallah. I hope to be uh, speaking to you uh, throughout these 10 days. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.